So now we're going to put the Jiffy DOS in the 1541 drive here. So to open this, there's some screws on the bottom. And we're going to flip this over and remove four screws on the bottom here. This drive was last serviced. Check this out. This little sticker on the bottom. Eric's place. They did a good job because this drive is uh, has a perfect drive speed and uh, just about perfect drive alignment still. So they did a good job. They got the screws out. Now you can just lift off the top here. Just comes right off. Nothing to worry about here. And if you're lucky, this will all have socketed chips here. Let's spin this around here. Oh, while we have this open, let's get out the can air. Right. Also, check out the, the read right head. It's right here, that little that thing. If it's dirty, get your alcohol. Uh, get a cotton cotton swab and some alcohol and just wipe that off. Get in here and you just wipe that off. Now you have a clean... That one wasn't dirty though. I keep the lid off my test one. I have a 1541-2 as a test drive. And I test so many discs, it gets dirty. And where you can't even see this line across here. And that's how I know, you know, it, it just get in there with the alcohol and cotton swab and then clean it off real quick. So I keep that one open. All right, let's find uh, where we're gonna install this chip. So inside the 1541, there's a short board like this and a long board that goes a little longer. Uh, both. The chips we're going to replace is located right here on both of those versions. It is uh, the UB4. And it's the same. The other one it was U4. This is UB4. So we're going to pop this chip out. When you replace the chip, look at this notch. This is when you do chips, replacing chips, pay attention which way the notch is because that's how your new chip needs to go in. So let's pop this out. How I remove chips is I use a flathead screwdriver. I'll either flip it up or I'll put the screwdriver in it and then I'll turn it and the chip will pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have the chip out. Just pry it right out. And now we're going to test fit the new chip. So remember that part about the notch? Here's the notch right here. So the chip is going to go in this way right here. I test fit it. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure, make sure all the pins are in the holes that they need before you press it down. Don't make sure, make sure it's not like this, like that, and then press down gently, back and forth. I'm going to push it down a little bit harder and put the camera down. The, um, I want to make sure that that capacitor, I'm going to push it down gently, give it a little more room. All right, here we go again. Check both sides. So we got the chip in. We had to move the capacitor off to the side. So I just kind of uh, moved it, resoldered it in there. Now we got to figure out where to put the on and off switch here. Uh, the instruction says put it in the lid, but every time you open the lid, then this is going to be attached. So we got to find a place here on the side. I see how this works. I might just stick it here where that gap is and stick it out right here. So. 
I, I want it on the bottom so that we don't have to have it attached to the lid. So I'm going to go find a place now and then drill a hole, quarter inch hole. Okay, this is done. I put the uh, switch in over here. I don't know. Put it wherever you want. It was a tight fit, actually. I don't know if that was a very good spot. Uh, I've tested this. It works. Okay, this, this wasn't as straightforward as I thought. I had to move this capacitor back. You can see my solder work there. And I had to get this capacitor out of the way. So what you do is there's not any room to bend it forward or back. I just kind of pushed down on it and then pushed it to the side. And you can see how I moved it out of the way. So if you run into these problems, that's how I um, got around those two problems. So it took a little longer than I thought, but it is working. So thanks for watching this video. If you didn't see my part one, uh, watch it where I put the Jiffy DOS, the Jiffy DOS into my Commodore 64C. Thanks for watching.